Hi, this is Jane with GreenBiz. Today we are going to discuss fertilizers and what the numbers on your fertilizers mean and what you should use them for. So we all know that fertilizers are important in your growing your gardens and growing your lawns. We are going to talk about, well, how do you know what fertilizer to use, what numbers to use. So that's what we're going to talk about right now. I brought with me some samples of fertilizers so a little later on in the video we can look at the actual numbers and discuss what they mean. But first I want you to kind of have an idea of what those numbers on a fertilizer bag or bottle mean. On a fertilizer bag or bottle you're going to have three main numbers and letters. So the letters are going to be N which means nitrogen, P which means phosphate and K which means potash. So they represent the three major nutrients that are in that fertilizer. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium. This label is known as the fertilizer grade and it is the standard that is used throughout the United States for identifying what kind of ingredients are in a particular fertilizer. For instance, a bag that has the numbers 10, 10, 10 would contain 10% nitrogen, 10% phosphate, and 10% potash. Fertilizer grades are made by mixing two or more of those in nutrients and that is how you come up with whatever it is in that bag. Fertilizers will often contain a blend, so for instance, the, nutri the different nutrients, and they are represented with like different colors of particles. So for instance, you might open a bag of fertilizer and you see green and brown and yellow. That would be the different contents of your fertilizer. Your nitrogen, your phosphorus, your potash. Sometimes you will have a fertilizer that only contains one nutrient or two nutrients. And so instead of having, say, like 10, 10, 10 as your numbers, you might have 10, 0, 10, or something like that. We'll talk about that just a little bit. So you might wonder, say, like on your lawn, what kind of fertilizer are you going to need? The best way to determine what you're going to need for a fertilizer is to do a soil test. The easiest way to do that is to get a sample kit and send it in, and the county extension agency or wherever you send this to is going to tell you what you need for nutrients to make your lawn the most beautiful lawn on the street. I have here a couple of bags of a I guess you would call typical fertilizer. This one is a typical garden fertilizer. The numbers on it are 10, 10, 10. And if you turn it Often on the back you will see some of the micro, um, the other chemicals or the other nutrients that are also involved in this bag. This is for a centipede lawn. The fertilizer numbers here are 15, 0, 15. So it's using the um, nitrogen and it's using the potassium, but there isn't any of the middle number there, which would be a phosphate because generally lawns don't need much phosphate. They've got it already. So say that you've already gone to the extension agency, you've gotten back your soil test, and it says you need whatever it is that you need. So you've got your fertilizer. How do you put the fertilizer on your lawn? The best way is with a spreader. And I'm sure that all of us have seen lawns that, ooh, you've got these really, really green streaks and then these kind of pale streaks. It was not spread correctly. When you use a spreader, you want to have a spreader where it's going to be going like this. It's going to be kind of throwing that fertilizer out. You're going to go this way, and then you're going to go this way. So half your fertilizer is one way, half your fertilizer is spread the other way. That way you're going to have complete coverage over your yard. And you're not going to have these green spots that the neighbors go, oh, he didn't know how to do it right. Okay, so. What do you use, for instance, the nitrogen for? What do these numbers mean? First of all, the nitrogen, that's the first number. That is what promotes 
the green leaf growth. Plants that are almost all leaves, for instance your grass, are going to need a lot more nitrogen. Most lawn fertilizers are very high in nitrogen. The second number or letter is P, phosphorus, and that provo promotes your root development. And that helps to anchor your plants and gives them strength. And truthfully, if you don't have good roots, you're not going to have a good plant. Plants like, for instance, tomatoes or root crops like to have a lot of phosphorus. Potassium, which is K, the letter, is the third number. And that's also known as potash. Potash was the original name for the potassium. It helps to fight off diseases. It helps to make your plants strong. It keeps them vigorous. And it enables them to withstand, for instance, the extremes of heat that we would have down here in Fayetteville and to ward off different diseases. Plants that are deficient in potash are going to show stunted leaf growth, um, their fruits aren't going to be good, and they're going to be very sensitive to drought. Most soils already contain some potassium, so sometimes this is the smallest number. I'm going to show you a couple of different hydrangeas. The one that I'm looking at right here, you notice how very green the leaves are. This one has been adequately fertilized. It looks beautiful, the, the flowers are coming out on it. It just looks like a very healthy plant. Hold on one moment. This is a different kind of hydrangea, so the growth is going to be a little bit different on this. But if you look at the leaves of this one, compared to the leaves of this one, you'll see a very different color green. This particular hydrangea is a need of some fertilizer. Once it is fertilized, it will start to green up and look color-wise like this one over here. This particular plant is a habanero pepper. If you have plants like this in your garden that look kind of, well, anemic, yellowed leaves, they need some fertilizer. Once you put some fertilizer on them, they will start to green up. On a fertilizer bag, you may see some other types of numbers, some other types of nutrients that are listed. We're not going to go into detail about those. They, I guess we'll save that for another time. If you have questions or comments, you can leave them at the bottom of this video. This is Jane with GreenViz, wishing you a happy green yard.